Today I want to share with you a coin, a silver eagle, that has lost over 60% of its value in just a few years. Now the coin we're talking about is this one right here. This is a 2020p Philadelphia issued emergency issue silver eagle. This was released in 2020 during the pandemic. And as you can see, this coin right here has every pedigree imaginable that you could put on a label. I think they almost ran out of room here. So we have a 2020p. PCGS MS70, this is certified to be perfect. Silver Eagle, emergency issue, like I said, struck at Philadelphia, first day of issue. This is the first day that they issued these coins. Again, every single pedigree that you can imagine, and it's even signed by Chief Engraver of the US Mint, John M. Mercanti. Now, this is a coin that I made a video about years ago, and I warned people not to buy things like this because even though I don't predict the price of silver and what certain things are gonna do, some things are just incredibly obvious. And this is the video I'm talking about. So this right here is from my video that I released back in 2020. And it was talking about this exact coin. Now you can see at the time, this coin was selling for $595. And you can see, if you look right here, it says that two of them sold in 24 hours. And that shows you that this coin was actually selling. I mean, this coin was being sold on HSN. HSN Mike was selling them. There were people talking about them as an emergency issue because the US Mint was having trouble keeping up with demand for Silver Eagles. And so they released emergency issue Silver Eagles, which of course were immediately capitalized on because people would take these sealed boxes, they would send them in to PCGS or NGC sealed to get labeled with all of these pedigrees that we just talked about. So if you wanna see that video that I did all the way back in 2020, I will put a link for it down below. So make sure you go check it out. But what I wanted to do in this video is go take a look at what these coins are selling for today and as you can imagine based on what i said at the beginning here it's not going to be very pretty so let's get into it but before we do do me a favor and make sure you are subscribed i would definitely appreciate the support additionally hit that like button and help youtube recommend this video to others and let's get into it you guys know i've been talking about the 2023 monster box giveaway from sd bullion all year but this is my last chance there's only a couple of days left as i release this video to get your entry in before the end of 2023 if you want your chance to win a full monster box of silver eagles go to sdbullion.com forward slash Silver Seeker, and thank you to SD Bullion for sponsoring my channel. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what these coins are now selling for over three years later. What are they actually going for? So we'll look at 2020 Silver Eagle MS70 Emergency Issue. That's what we're going to search here on eBay. We'll hit enter, and as you can see, we have results immediately showing some of these coins. Now, this top result, unfortunately, we cannot use this one because this is a 2020S, and the one we showed in that video was a 2020P. But you can see we have our 2020 San Francisco struck American Silver Eagle MS70 emergency issue, first day of issue flag label. So it's missing the Mercanti signature for just 75 bucks. Now looking at the 2020 P's, here we go, 199. This one is NGC certified, but it has a different signature. This one is signed by Elizabeth Jones. It is cool though, because it does have the black core, which I've always been a fan of. But if we keep scrolling down, we will eventually come across a 2020 P. This one's milk spotted, we'll skip that one, but we'll keep scrolling down. And as we see, we have right here, take a look at this. So we have a 2020p Silver Eagle Philadelphia Mint Emergency Issue, first day of issue, PCGS MS70 flag blue. So we'll click on this and take a look, kind of like that one we saw at top that was an S. This one, the only pedigree that this is missing is the Mercanti signature. And as you can see, we can buy this today, $64.99 each. This is a buy it now price. A couple of these have actually even sold. So we have 2020 MS70 Silver Eagle Emergency Issue, struck in Philadelphia, first day of issue, right here in big letters at the top of the label, it's simply missing the Mercanti signature. So how much is that Mercanti signature worth then? Let's find out. We will go back to eBay and we will just edit to put Mercanti into our listing here. And now we are shown some MS70 2020 American Silver Eagle, is this a P? This is a Mercanti signature, but this is not an emergency production issue, whatever. All right, so 2020 P Silver Eagle NGC MS70 emergency production, Mercanti signed, retro holder I, the black core i don't believe is a retro holder uh it's just called black core but maybe i'm wrong you can correct me in the comments i'm sure you will all right but anyway this is the only difference between this and what that one that we showed in the video is is that this is an ngc certified one it is signed by mercanti 12th chief engraver it says struck at philadelphia mint 2020p at eagle s one dollar emergency production first day of issue ms70 
and it's in the black core which again i'm a big fan of the way the black core looks take a look at this we can buy this today for 125 dollars but again this is not a completely fair comparison we need to find a pcgs certified mercanti signed ms70 silver eagle emergency issue 2020 p so let's see if we can find one of those and back over on ebay we'll keep on scrolling until we find one because eventually it will pop up and here are two results right here so we have a 2020p silver eagle pcgs ms70 philadelphia emergency mercanti signed population 468 so 468 of them with all of that stuff you know along with it and we have another one down here for 197 for 219 uh here's one for 749 i think this merchant must have bought it way back in the day and he's just trying to get his money back or something i don't know 749 this is not going to sell given that here we go same coins for in the twos you know low 200s high 100s 200 on this one if you include the five dollar shipping uh but if we open this one up at 219 you can see this is the exact same coin 2020p ms70 emergency issue all the same pedigrees everything that we've talked about and the cost is around 40 percent or so of what they were selling for back when i made that video in 2020. now of course those numbers are just what the merchants are asking for them what about sold items so ebay allows you to actually look at sold items so we're going to click that and take a look here's one this is first release instead of first day of issue same thing basically uh this one sold for 90 bucks it has all the other stuff mercanti 2020 pms 70 now here's one that did sell for 216, one that sold everything 119, one that sold for 100. Uh, here's one, this is a PCGS one, MS70, everything's there, that sold for 165. So if we look at sold listings, here's another one that sold for 165. If we look at sold listings, you can see they go for even cheaper and they're not really selling that often. So taking a look at this PCGS one, this one sold October 28th, and then this one sold November 29th. And then this one sold December 17th. So, I mean, they're only selling like one a month. Like that's it. They're not even selling very quickly. Now, look, I could sit here and bore you all day by going through eBay search results and listings and sold listings and whatnot. But I think the point is very clear is that the value of this coin has dropped. Like I said, at the beginning of this video, 60% or more, depending on if you want that PCGS Mercanti signed or if you're fine with getting it from NGC or whatever it is. But I think the more important point of this video is this shows what is kind of an old adage of whenever things become really popular, whenever they hit the news waves, when everyone's talking about it, that's usually when it's too late. Think about Bitcoin, for example. It was worth nothing for years, and then it became popular. It went up in value. Everyone started talking about it. The news channel started talking about it, and it skyrocketed. Then people got all excited. They bought into it uh, back when it was hitting fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, and then it crashed, and we know, all know what Bitcoin looked like in 2022. Now we have 2023. It's going back up. It's becoming popular. It's hitting news cycles. And I don't know what Bitcoin's going to do. This is not financial advice. I'm not predicting the price of that or spot or gold and silver or whatever. But I'm telling you, whenever it becomes incredibly popular, when everyone's talking about it, usually that is not the right time to buy. So if you really wanted to get one of these emergency issued Silver Eagles, you could have easily waited until people weren't thinking about it anymore because the people that were buying it back then, they're sitting in their safe or whatever they're gonna do with it. They're gonna think about it for a couple of years. They're gonna be glad that they have it. And then eventually they're gonna wanna sell it. They're gonna look online and see that the price has dropped and they're gonna wanna sell theirs and they're gonna have to sell it at a much lower price than they paid for it just a few years ago because there's not as many buyers. There's not the demand. It's not being talked about. So there's not, it's not, in the top of people's minds and therefore it's just kind of sitting there as a thing that was popular for a few years this happened with beanie babies it happened with tulip bulbs it's happened with so many different things and it's going to continue to happen throughout the history of time because that's how it works if you will again i don't know what the price of things specifically are going to do in the future but when it gets too popular it's going to be too late and honestly between you and i the same could be said for silver if silver hits let's just imagine for a second silver hits a hundred dollars an ounce people are going to talk about it. It's going to hit the news waves. It's going to hit the media. It's going to be in the top of everyone's minds. Oh my gosh, silver is a hundred dollars an ounce. And that may be too late to buy silver, which is why I'm an advocate. And again, this is not financial advice. You make your own decisions. I am not a financial advisor at all, but I'm absolutely an advocate of buying silver when it's cheap like it is today. And that's why I'm continuing to add silver to my stack now that the premiums have come down and the spot price is remaining, remaining pretty consistent in that 23 to 25 range. Uh, that's, you know, right now I'm definitely interested in stacking silver because it's not popular. Silver's not popular right now. And that's why this, in my opinion, 
Again, not financial advice. Is the time to stack it. All right, guys, let me know what you think, though. I would love to know if you've seen things like this or if you have any stories, leave them in comments down below. Do me a favor, make sure you are subscribed. As I said earlier, there are so many people that don't realize that they aren't subscribed. So go down below and check and make sure. It definitely helps me out. Don't forget to hit that like button to help YouTube recommend this to others. And the next thing you should do is watch this video because it's a great one. Guys, we will see you next time and have a great rest of your day.